He killed the IS-1. I don't know what he killed it with. I think he laid dynamite or something. That was very nice. Very good job. Capital, capital job. And at this point, I have lots of resources available. Um, if you look on the right, you see how there's like, like the unit icons is a starting from the fourth from the bottom. There's a uh, Rakettenwerfer, I think it's called, and then a Verbalwind, and then a Panzer IV with well, that's a Rakettenwerfer or a Nebel. For, for I don't, and then a Panzer IV with side skirts, and then a Yogged Panther. Um, but when those when those units start getting like higher up, more expensive like that, that's that's just showing you the most expensive thing you can buy, and that just means you have lots of points in reserve. Um, it's usually a good idea to spend your points because uh, if they're waiting in reserve, they're not doing you any good. Um, it's not quite that simple. We're this is a, of course only applies to payback. One of the different there's different modes you can play in Men of War. Payback is where you have a set number of points and you spend them on things, but when people die, uh, you get those points back over time. So let's say you bought a Luftwaffe squad and they cost f 15 points. Uh, once they all die, which inevitably they will, uh, like that man just died trying to get his Panzerfaust out and uh, shoot that thing. I pr I could have maybe gotten that shot off, but I don't know. He's being covered by the tank pretty well. But once they die, um, it takes quite a while for your points to come back, but they will come back. Um, so you can't just throw your people away because, like, it it's going to take quite a while for the full points to come back. It just it you, it doesn't go. You lose 15, you get 15. You it, it's more like you lose 15, you get one, you get two, you get three, and my panther's about to die. Yeah, I spent all my points on my panther, and uh, kaboom, it died because all he needed was a uh, AT grenade, and I'm not doing so well this game. Or more accurately, I am doing very specifically badly in very certain points, but in general, I'm doing as bad as well as I usually do. Uh, I'm just getting shot up owned. So yeah, that's how payback works. Uh, you can't just throw people away into the meat grinder, but you can afford to lose people, and um, you should typically spend your points. Another one is no payback. What's it called? I don't know. Maybe it's called no payback. I don't think it's called no payback. In, in any case, that mode, you get your points, you spend them, and then you lose them, and then they're gone. So if you buy a tank and the tank dies, you're out that many points. And I don't like that mode because um, you get a lot more of your points up front. Like with payback, you start with a small amount of points, and then it trickles some more and more and more, and eventually you can field larger armies. Uh, subject, of course, to you're getting paid back over time for what you lost. But um, with the no payback mode, you get a lot more upfront, and people typically dump it into like a tank or something. And um, then it just it's like huge, gigantic tank battles, and eventually all the tanks are dead. And, um, and then it's just like some guy has like four people hidden in bushes around the map, and you have to go hunt them down or something. And um, or they run out of points, and they're like, "This is boring because I wasted all my people in the first five minutes when I bought a gigantic tank and it got shot." So I'm just gonna quit or something. Or even if they don't quit, it's like well, they already blew their load and they can't do anything. So payback at least assures that you'll get a fight out of the opponents the entire time. Whether it's a good fight or not depends on whether or not they suck. Uh, in this case, they don't quite suck. That's like my fifth pack 40, if not my sixth or seventh. If any of you are keeping score at home, I ask you to rip up your scorecard so I do not look bad in your eyes. But um, yeah. Uh, what do the points look like? You, we actually have almost 1,200 points. You only need 1,200 points to win. That's what we set it to. You can set that to anything else when you hold the majority of the battle zones that we've been capping all game. Your points tick up. But um, looks like I bought a Stormtrooper squad, and I'm owning people because Stormtroopers rock. But they're not so hot when a tank can see them. But they can stand up to quite a bit of damage, and you can use that to get into position and use their Panzerfaust to fire and destroy a, a tank. But they have MP44s, which are just like the probably the best gun in the game, if not if not the best, then one of the best. Um, they have long range, long damage, good accuracy, fire fast. Good stuff. So yeah, I like payback, because um, the, the battle keeps going the entire time, and people don't dump it all into super tanks, or they can't as easily dump it all into super tanks as quickly. Like, they have to sit there and save for a while while their points tick up. Um, or not lose people, or whatever. I don't know. That's, that's me. That's payback. Not everyone agrees. So there go a lot of my stormtroopers. Mostly died due to a combination of enemy fire and their cover being dismantled by a tag. My mojo is gone. 
This is like the fourth game we played that day or something. I don't know. My mojo had departed me. So this is pack 40 number like 27. Whoever is fulfilling my orders for the pack 40 is being incredibly obliging. And they keep getting order forms. They're like, oh, Tycho's ordered another pack 40. What's he doing with these things? And it's, uh, you know what? He's losing them immediately, but uh, we'll send him another because he wants it. And only the best for Def Fuhrer. Um, yep, that pack 40 is dead. Um, so I buy another pack 40. Look, eventually it's got to penetrate, you know, it's cheaper than a tank. I'm losing more pack 40s than Germany lost world wars. Yes. Oh, jokes. Um, so let's see how this pack 40 fares. Kaboom. Oh, misses. So that's not very auspicious. I'm just aiming for the top because I just want to knock these uh, things out. So then I deploy some sandbags, which, uh, you know, is always a good idea if you're expecting to hunker down. Um, oh, see, that sandbag protected me from a shot. It would have been dead already. Of course, he's just going to die pretty soon. You know, I can't... I could try and sneak around with infantry, but I've been trying that for a while at this point. I was just like, pack 40s, because we only need like 20 points to win. <laughs> I just want those tanks off my back so I can cap the point. Um, but look, I am sneaking around with infantry. This guy, unfortunately, does not have a Panzerfaust, so he's going to have to do it with an AT grenade. And uh, he's a stormtrooper, so he moves a bit a little slow, but uh, no one sees him. And uh, I don't know why he's not moving up. And now suddenly I see a thousand infantry, so he throws a grenade and he's like, he's out of there. And his gun is missing. And so I hold down tab to look for a gun. All I can find is Russian submachine guns. So, you know, better than nothing. I'd rather have a Russian submachine gun in my hands than two in the bush. My opponent, however, has not hidden in the bush. He's in the sandbags which is more cover than a bush, but not as much concealment. Although there's enough concealment, I didn't know he was there until I got some sight on the point, so that's a pretty good lesson. There can be like a freaking enemy squad on the point, and you wouldn't even know even if they're right out in the open, because you just don't have anyone looking at it. So intel is really everything in Men of War, and you don't want to take anything for granted and have people hiding in plain sight, which uh, is not good. So I buy a tank this time. I figure the T-34s have found someone else to my last, because uh, they appear to have gone. Oh, no, there's one. But, uh, you know, that's a, that's one of the nice Panzer IVs, and um, more importantly, I want him just to get some, well, my pack 40 got to crude, so I'm buying some tank room, and I just wanted some uh, breathing room on my point. The Panzer IV can take on T-34s from the front, and uh, more importantly, he can own up all the infantry for me, and I, like I said, we're only 20 points away from winning, so I just really wanted to uh, push up and win this one, see if I can kill some tanks. Boom, in direct control. Nice. Knocks out the SE-122. I might have hit the uh, sweet spot. I'm not sure if there is a sweet spot. Some tanks have like magical sweet spots that if you hit them, they explode really easily. Like it's a weak point in the armor, I think. I think this might be an urban legend or something. But uh, some bloke, I don't know if you've ever listened to him do Company Hero Shack House or whatever, he plays Men of War and he swears there's a, a weak... Oop. SU-122 owned my uh, Panzer IV, a different SU-122. He swears there's a weak spot on the Stug armor, the German assault gun. Um, it's it's right by where the whole machine gun is on the front, uh, where the two plates are welded together. Um, I, I have to say I have had luck killing a Stug by firing there, but I don't know if that was just because I would have penetrated anyway. They're not. But uh, in any case, that's where the slope is not so good. It's it's a 90-degree angle to you, so they might as well shoot there. And so yeah, now I'm taking the rightmost point. My ally, to his credit, has held the leftmost point. We don't have the middle, but uh, you know what? The middle can go fuck a duck, because we're about to win. I'm thinking. I mean, I don't know. I could check how much time is left on this video, but um, that's not really happening. What's funny is that there's 14 minutes left in the game, so if we re really wanted, we could like neutralize one point and then fight it into a stalemate, because whoever has the most points up when it's over wins, but uh, that's, that's the game.